uh, piece of machinery. So I'm so thrilled I'm here and um, have, ha I'm glad we finally got some laps in and uh, you know, it didn't disappoint. Do you even remember when you were here before what the car felt like as opposed to what this car feels like? I mean, I remember being pretty impressed with the way it drove then, uh, because I, I was comparing it to a cup car on a road course. Uh, of course, I did drive that F1 car that one time, and, and that was pretty amazing. And this, to me, is getting much closer to, to that. Um, and, and so, yeah, the braking is definitely far greater. Um, but I wish I could remember what what I was doing through the dog leg, because to me, that's that's where you really find where this car is at. Uh, it's a kind of a medium speed, but a, but a very fast left-hander that you really test the limits of your body in the car. And so I don't really remember what I did in it before, but I know what I'm doing it now, and it's impressive. How much did the test at Charlotte help you in getting up to speed here, at least having some experience in the car beforehand? A lot. I mean, every lap that I've made in the car, I think it's been helpful. The time I spent in the simulator in Indianapolis with Dallara's simulator, uh, that was big. And then, of course, yeah, definitely getting familiar with the seat and the steering wheel and, and how the car reacts. Um, you know, I, I anticipated being a little more comfortable here because I've run here before, um, and, and that's how I felt just then. I, I definitely felt more comfortable here today than I ever did in Charlotte. Do you think there's a lot of potential still left in the car? You know, we got that's for Ricky and Jordan and Max. Um, I, I, I'm just going to try to keep up with those guys. But, you know, I, I felt like... You know, there was definitely some areas where I could have, have been a little bit more aggressive, but we'll see. When you first announced you wouldn't be back in NASCAR, I was talking to Zach Brown about this. Was Jeff there? He said, I used to run NASCAR, but that kid wants to run my mind. <laughs> I mean, is, this, do you, is that still a desire and something that's going to It's really definitely on my mind. Um, you know, I, I like seeing opportunities uh, and, and, and when the right one comes along uh, taking advantage of it and enjoying it and that's that you know, I'm so glad that Wayne and I have stayed in touch over the years to be able to, to do this especially with Cadillac and Delar bringing this new car what comes out of this we'll just have to see how this goes um, you know I, I, I'm always interested in things like that that, that challenge me but it, and that I've never done before but I'm also going to talk to Ricky and, and you know Wayne and, and uh, Jordan and, and just get their opinion on w what's the challenges there versus what, what this challenge is. Also the chili bowl. <laughs> no, no, I've done the chili bowl. <laughs> uh, uh, that's behind me. Where, where would winning this one count? In the grand um, oh my gosh, I mean, at this point in my life and career, this would be huge. Um, you know, when I came here in 07, I, I didn't, I, I only was kind of along for the ride and enjoying every moment of it and we had a few issues along the way and we finished you know third and I thought that was pretty cool to be on the podium but you know I think what you when you really realize how important this race is is when you're here on race day and, and, and you see the hype and the build up and, and it doesn't disappoint and then the challenges that you face for 24 hours to compete at that level against your competitors. That, that's what makes this race to me so thrilling. And um, gosh, I, I'd be very, very proud of that for sure. And that's why I've been working so hard. You know, I, I want to give these guys everything. And that's, that's what I told Wayne years ago. I said, you know, I, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna come back and run Ro the Rolex Toy Bar unless I can put in the amount of time and effort in the car and, and physically, you know, be in, in good enough shape and, and spend time with the team and, and really be a fixture and a part of it. Jeff, you've been a trendsetter uh, in racing. Is this going to be the new normal for guys that retire from NASCAR? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. If I have a lot of fun, then yeah, they're going to be jealous. <laughs> but I mean, you know, I think I think people misuse the word retirement. When when I, you know, when I stepped out of the car, I'm anything but retired. I just am not driving full time cup anymore. And of course, what happened with Junior this year was was something that I didn't plan on doing, but. This is something that I hoped I, I would be doing. Right. And I think I kind of alluded to that and mentioned it, but I don't think anybody took me serious. They thought I was retiring. And right. I'm working harder this year than I think I've ever worked. <laughs> does this, uh, how does this affect your broadcasting schedule? Does this interfere at all with that? Uh, other than I have to leave early tomorrow to go uh, for a meeting and dinner with Fox up in Charlotte. Uh, no, they're actually really excited. You know, they're broadcasting this race and. Um, they're excited I'm in the race and they're going to use this as a, a way to, to you know, 
promote what, what they broadcast with this type of, uh, of racing and IMSA and then also promote the Daytona 500. So, you know, they've got a month full of a lot of great stuff from Super Bowl to the 24 hours in Daytona. It's, uh, that's pretty amazing to see all that back to back. Yeah. It had to be good to actually see the announcement from Team Air was going to come back to actually see it in print and yeah, it's going to happen. It was. I, I knew that that Darlington test was coming up, so I was really anxious to see how that went and to hear that it went as well as it did. I was very encouraged. I, I've been seeing, uh, 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 you know, huge strides in the improvement with him, and so I, I felt like it was not going to be a problem for him. But you know, that was yeah, that was crazy. When you when you talk about Junior, do you kind of say, you know, if not by the grace of God, that could have been me at some point in your career. I mean, you know, I think every race car driver feels fortunate if they've had a long, prosperous career like I did and, and was able to step away from it on their own terms. Um, so, you know, racing can be dangerous and you put yourself in the safest positions, drive as smart as you can, but, you know, hopefully you have a, a safe car and track as well. And I've had plenty of incidents where I, I, I thought, boy, I don't know if I'm going to walk away from this one. And so I feel very, very fortunate. Um, but, uh, you know, to me, when I think of junior situation, I think of more of how can we help future drivers not have that uh, happen to them. You know, I think there's still some things we can do inside the car uh, that, that can help. Sort of. and, and actually, I've learned from this car that I'm in, the, their headdress and the way that their supports are and the way they handle impact, I think can be useful in NASCAR. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks, Jeff. I hope so. I drive it a lot.